FS Gojo Mento, and we back again with another banger. We took the account from 28,000 to almost 160k with running 127k profits. We are running profits on this trend that we are trading here. That's the thing, guys. Day traders have it all wrong. We are basically trading trends all together with understanding highs and lows. So, what day traders have it all wrong is when they see the market goes up, they sell it. When they see the market goes down, they buy it. When the market goes up, they sell it. And when it comes down, they buy it. And then boom, prices takes off and they sell and lose money all the way up. Not realizing the only way to make money in the market is to catch a trend. You need to catch the overall trend. As you guys can see, we're coming from a bearish trend. The moment we broke outside the bearish trend, we had to wait for the market to give us confirmation before we can continue with the overall new trend. It doesn't matter if you're a day trader or if you're a long-term trend trader. The trend is the basis of all profits. You need a trend. If you want to learn how to do this, with a small account just watch the video up until the end when i teach you how to do this with a very small account if it's good your mentor let's go a fucking goat outside it's just a goat no it's a fucking goat Hi there guys, happy 2023. For those who've reached this far into the video and you're also new to the channel, please don't be afraid to hit the like button, the sub button, and also switch on your post notification bell button so that you're notified each and every time we drop our quality video. Guys, I wanna talk about 2022. For those who are new to the channel, might not actually know, each and every time we drop guys we always make sure we drop quality content in 2023 you want to be different because we're actually trying to be consistent by dropping each and every week as you guys have seen at the beginning of the video that we actually discussed that we'll be teaching you guys on how to trade a small account and actually be able to receive big rewards however trading your small account you need to use proper risk management you also need to use trends together with high and low strategy so that you're able to be profitable as you possibly can so we'll be showing you guys on how we trade the gold way what we always do when we analyze guys we always make sure to use trading view as long as you're using mt4 it might be on your desktop it might be on your cell phone but as long as you're analyzing on your mt4 platform your analysis will eventually disappear so it's very important for you guys to make sure you subscribe to trading view so that you're able to protect your analysis and stay in tune with what you're actually doing with your forex journey so now let's actually get to the important part of the video every time we analyze guys for those who are new you might not know that we always start from a bigger time Time frame we always use a reverse pyramid approach always starting from a bigger time frame and then diving in deeper to a smaller time frame when you analyze guys if you're trying to spot out your trends i would suggest that you always start using a line chart so that you can properly mark what kind of trend you are in in an overall day trading analysis so this is the day analysis guys i now know that my daily analysis is an overall bullish trend all right after that, you switch back to a candlestick and then you dive in deeper to look for more further opportunities. Once we dive in deeper, guys, you'll now need to use trends in trend strategy. The overall trend is actually a bullish trend, but the secondary trend is now a bearish trend. After doing that, you now need to spot your entry opportunities. One thing you need to understand using trends together with high and low is that you need to spot out each and every impulse and correction of a specific trend. We know that an impulse move in a bullish trend is a buy, but an impulse move in a bearish trend is a sell. So if you're in a bullish trend, you're most likely looking for buys. And if you're in a bearish trend, you're most likely looking for sells, which is why we took a sell here with our first trade. Our first trade, I'm going to show you here together with the MT4 platform so you understand how we're able to take this account from 7,000 all the way up to 54,000 profits, okay? So our first entry we took, guys, our first instrument was USD CAD. And as you can see from the side here, guys, the loss size. We are using proper risk management. The loss size we used is 0.04 all the way up to 0.06. 
so now i want to show you the specific entry it took from here which was around the 21st of december 2022 if you check the time frame where we took the trade was actually around the 22nd of december 2022 and we actually killed the trade of which was an overall sell so what i want to talk about mostly guys is how was i able to spot out this entry or this trade that i took right here so once i finished analyzing my trends in trends using my high and low strategy i was now looking for a type of opportunity we have different types of probabilities when we're actually looking for entries we have a low probability a medium probability and a high probability so the type of entry i took here might be a medium or a high probability i always make sure that i don't take low probability entries because they're most likely to lose hence they have a less chance of being profitable you need to have multiple things confirming your type of entry as you can see we had a diagonal resistance coming from our bearish trend and also we had a vertical resistance which made this point a strong selling opportunity point hence you see guys we took our sell and we held up until the nearest reversal obviously we can see the overall trade can go all the way up until the bottom however because we're trading a small account we cannot afford to swing so we make sure we only scalp yeah. our entry we actually took a few trades this guys saw we took another trade here the trade came back and we took another trade there as well we took a few trades basically exactly. resulting from the same setup exactly guys as you see we have different types of low sizes on that specific trade however we are just analyzing to understand that we are looking for selling opportunities all right so that was our first trade that we took and secondly our second trade we took was usd swiss franc from usd swiss franc we also took multiple opportunities and multiple entries we used proper risk management on a loss size our highest loss size is 0 0.07 from the smaller loss size which is 0 0.04 okay so now i'm going to put on usd swiss franc so that you're able to see how we got to take that trade so yeah guys this was our analysis i'll make sure i start from a daily time frame so that you actually see how i got to take that opportunity all right so for those who might also want to see our analysis make sure you also follow our strictly forex channel which is fx gold on that channel guys we'll be posting daily analysis we'll be having monthly lives a lot of things related strictly to forex so make sure that you go to the channel subscribe back to the video as you can see guys we had an overall bullish trend and from this point on we had a sell zone whereby the market respected the sell so much that it actually broke aside out of a bullish trend we are now in a bearish trend okay so i'm going to dive in deeper so that you can see what happened on our secondary bearish trend so we are now in our four hour time frame and we know for a fact that we just came from our sell zone and we're in a bearish trend all right i know that we're not able to catch the sales however we also had an opportunity we can take of a correction we didn't take an impulse move and with this buy guys we actually took a lot of entries as you have seen here with usd swiss frame from the past year this was also around the 29th as you can see here from the bottom we took a lot of entries all leading up to the top so we made sure that each and every type of entry we took we were respecting proper risk management together with the fact that we know the potential of this overall movement knowing that we're coming from our support we know that the trade has a possibility to also reach the overall resistance at the top most likely the type of entries are also advised to take would also wait for such an opportunity whereby you have a strong sell towards the downside like i said before guys sellers will be stronger in a bearish trend and buyers will be stronger in a bullish trend so this is how i took my usd swiss frame trade so now i want to move to my third trades that we took on this specific account the third trade we took we used an instrument called xau usd most of you might actually know it as gold as you can see guys with gold we started to increase our loss size only because our account was actually starting to be a big account our highest loss size was 0 0.21 on gold as you can see because we had a high probability trade so now let me put in the gold chart so that you can be able to see the analysis this was our gold however when we're actually going to talk about our gold guys we took multiple entries we first started with selling opportunities and then from then we took on buying opportunities so firstly i'm going to start to discuss how we took this small sell we're actually scalping we want to see how much will the gold respect the entries all right gold 
overall since the beginning of 2020 it was in a bearish trend it went all the way throughout the bottom however it failed to break this strong support structure here as you can see this has been a strongest support structure since the past so once we knew if the market failed to break below we are now going to overall bullish trend all right so now let's go to a four hour time frame now once we're in our four hour time frame i want to show you guys how we got to our opportunities as you can see we are able to spot out what kind of trend we're in it's important for you guys as traders to be able to spot what kind of a trend are you in so that you know what are the possible entries you can take that will pay you more than actually taking a sell trade in a bullish trend. As you see guys, our sales were not as strong as our buyers because a bullish trend has a stronger bias and weaker sales, okay? So let me now actually go to one hour time frame to show you how I got this small little sell that we scalped here from the past, okay? So this was the sell entry we took. We saw that the market failed to cross above here. We saw this was a stronger sensitive area. And after we saw that fake out, actually the market failed to break outside. We didn't take the entry from here. But once we saw the market coming back down, we waited for it to actually respect the fact that it is now below this resistance. As you guys know, we don't lead the market, we only follow the market. So once it was below, we knew for a fact that we might look for a possible reversal at our nearest support structure. As you can see, our support structure was at this area over here which is where we closed our entries. So we took that sell and we closed when we reached this point from here. We could have taken buys, but we saw that we might actually be over trading. So we waited for another opportunity. Took days whereby we waited for the market to actually push towards the upside, give us a new high. And from then on, we waited for a retest. As you can see, what we did was that we wanted to make sure that we're going to wait for a retest and actually take opportunities from the bottom and push towards the upside. And that's exactly what happened, guys. That is why you can see from our buy opportunities, our loss size was much bigger because it was a high probability trade. It was a break outside retest, which confirmed for us that we are strictly going for buys. As you can see, we took strong buys towards the upside. That's why we over maximized our buy opportunities. So guys, it's very important for you guys to know whether you're looking for buyers in a bullish trend and for sellers in a bearish trend. Yeah, here we had a very strong high probability trade because we were already above our overall resistance. This was a very strong resistance. So the moment we crossed above the very strong resistance, we were able to find a very strong support, making this a high probability trade. Because even though we had a trend in trends, this was also a correction. We were able to break outside this mini bearish trend, giving us double confirmations, hence indicating to us it was a very strong high probability trade. Yes, sir. No cap detected, guys. Let's move on the last trade with two guys i know since the beginning of the video we've only shown you wins however that is not the reality of forex when you're trading forex guys you will also face losses guys losses are part of the game do not get discouraged when you take losses because without losses you won't always learn the proper lessons okay so our last trade we took, unfortunately, guys, we took losses on Euro AUD. So now I'm going to show you Euro AUD and how we got those losses. Can you see the difference between our losses and our profits? That's how you determine your profitability as a trader. So unless your losses are less than your profits, then you're going to be profitable. Fact, fact, guys. So this was our Euro AUD. So now let me start from our daily time frame. This is our daily time frame. I know I've already discussed it. I didn't use it in all analysis, but guys, always make sure you use line chart so they can be able to properly know and actually mark your trends in trends. All right. So we wanted to make sure that we firstly spot our playground. So we made sure that we knew our overall support and also our overall resistance. We then dived in deeper to our smaller time frame. All right. So now we're into my four hour time frame to show you what happened and how we took that loss. After the market actually broke our side of a bullish trend, we now knew that we are looking for a possible reversal and looking for a selling opportunity. We obviously missed the first one, so we waited on the second one to actually try to capitalize, all right? But however, let me dive in deeper to one hour so you can see clearly. However, guys, as you can see, once we dived in deeper, it seems that we took a premature entry because once we took that entry, guys, the market literally sold for a bit and then on went up, took us out, and then we are currently waiting to see will the market eventually respect the setup. This is what we expected. 
we're expecting the market to actually come all the way towards the downside over here however it looks like the market is still playing around we're gonna see if we're gonna take potential entries in the future after we break this structure over here because we saw this structure is still not a respectable structure so our next entry from here going forward will actually be from this point over here so we'll actually see how will the market respect those types of entries this is the first possibility right however if the market choose to not respect the setup the market will actually break outside give us a retail and then we're gonna look for bullish opportunities guys understand you do not leave the market you only follow so make sure each and every time when you plan you make sure that you plan ahead you don't literally have to enter any specific current market price however you need to plan ahead wait for the market to come and respect your setup before you take your particular entry we know for a fact that once the market comes here we'll be having a strong support structure which will be a vertical support and a diagonal support which makes this a high probability ability trade guys this is literal here for now we're gonna have to just wait for the market as i told you we not lead but we only follow currently the market is still playing around and we're only gonna look for opportunities in the near future this is exactly how you should approach the market as a trader hopefully you learn a thing or two with how we approach the market because the purpose of why we're making this video guys is that we understand that not everybody can afford to pay for courses because some of you guys actually come from the same conditions and situations where we come from which is the unprivileged backgrounds so for those who might not afford it you can learn for free on youtube and then after that if you're interested to join us make sure you click the link in the bio come to our mentorship whereby we'll be guiding you on what we do each and every day and each and every week so that we ensure your success as a forex trader all right we're also going to help you with psychology which is the most important part we're going to help you guys to deal with problems of taking losses a lot of people are struggling with the fact that each and every time they take a loss they tend to revenge trade they tend to use the emotion which is strictly psychology guys so it's very important for you guys to know that psychology of a trader can actually take you up to one to five years as long as you don't have the right guidance to make sure that it leads you to being a profitable trader hope you enjoyed the video signing out yes sir